All right, let's put our graham cracker crumbs to the side. We're gonna bring in a large bowl. I have here some milk chocolate chips, the good kind. We're gonna use that whole bag. And then we're gonna add in some peanut butter. Now, if you are allergic to peanuts, the peanut butter is optional. We're gonna add about half a cup of peanut butter in there. And we're gonna pop this in the microwave, 30 second increments until it's melted. Okay. So I did add a little bit more chocolate, but look at that, it looks so decadent. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and add our graham crackers in there. Start slow and add more as we go. Okay, start with about half of our graham crackers. That was a whole box of graham crackers that I cut up. And as we kind of mix this in there, we can even break our pieces a little bit further, but I do want a nice crunch with this dessert because that is what makes it so special and delicious. This looks fantastic. All right. I can smell the peanut butter. Okay, I think half those graham crackers is good enough for this first batch. I am making a couple batches because this is going in my Christmas cookie boxes. It's just one of those easy recipes that you can throw together that everyone loves. You can use dark chocolate, you can use white chocolate, but my favorite is milk chocolate. And we are kind of going for a s'more taste. So I bet you can guess what we're adding next. Mini marshmallows. Yum. And these are optional. If you don't like marshmallows, don't put them in yours. I love marshmallows, so I'm putting them in mine. And we're just gonna fold that in. This is a thick, kind of yummy, s'more, chocolate, no bake, holiday, every, around year-round treats. It's so easy and it's addictive. I have made this so many times because I just eat it up so quickly and I always want more. Okay, see how everything is almost fully coated in that chocolate? That is exactly what we are looking for. Mm -mm -mm. All right, and we're gonna put that to the side. We are gonna use a 13 by nine for this and I'm gonna go ahead and line it with some wax paper. Perfectly into our 13 by nine. It's okay if it crinkles a little bit. We are gonna pour in our s'more chocolate mixture with that peanut butter. Oh my gosh, get that all in there. I used a wooden spoon this time because you guys kept telling me I need to use a wooden spoon to mix everything and here I am listening. I, I read all your guys' comments, okay? Get all of that goodness out. Yum. E. Go ahead and flatten our chocolates down. Nice and easy. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be so delicious. So rich, peanut buttery, fluffy from those marshmallows, crunchy from those graham crackers, and of course chocolatey because that's what people want during the holidays. All right, that looks good enough to me. Now, before we pop this in the freezer, I'm gonna add a little salt to mine because that makes chocolate just so much better. Just a small little, you know, sprinkle of salt. It's optional. All right, we're gonna pop this in the freezer for one hour. All right, it has been an hour in the freezer. Go ahead and just Whoa. pop this out of the can grab our knife and go ahead and start cutting into it. Oh my gosh. Look oh, at that. Doesn't that look so good? It looks so amazing. Rocky Road, baby. All right, let's grab a plates so we can start plating our chocolate. And I just like to break it apart just so we get like little pieces, nothing too big. 
Oh my, do you guys see that? Oh, looks so good, it smells amazing. I'm gonna grab this little small piece right here on the side. Look at all those marshmallows. What is it? Mm. That is the best thing I've ever eaten. Really? You guys have to try it!